It's me, Tata Uriate. I know we had a crazy weekend, and we only human. Things happen. I'm here to do a short documentary of what's the Orisha tradition, and I'm gonna talk about Palu. I'm gonna talk about Ifa. I'm gonna talk about Kadombe, Lubumi, and so forth. Well, right now, to begin, I'm gonna do the one for Lukumi, the, the Orisha tradition, which migrated from Africa, Yoruba, Nigeria, to the different islands through the slavery. And they started, that's how they brand those secrets over. Uh, first of all, to become an Orisha priest, and somebody told me, no, anybody could praise the Orisha to become an Orisha priest. We do have foundation, we. <sighs> And there's steps you have to go through. Um, for one, to just become a, an Orisha priest, you have to undergo what's called the asiento. That's called the, the coronación de Ocha, the, the coronation of Ocha, which is not Mano Orura, Kofa Orura. The actual name is Awofaka. Um, once you go through that initiation of the coronation, you get your actual Orisha um, crowned in your head. And there's secrets that go in here. I can't tell you much, I'm just going around me. Making it short, do, uh, throughout the time, I'll go more, a little bit deeper, but I cannot give out the secrets. Because then everybody's going to be Orisha priests, which as I see in YouTube, everybody is already is. You can't just wake up and become an Orisha priest. It's wrong. It's not right. It's not traditional. And it's against um, our belief. You have to receive the Ashe. What is Ashe? That's a question you have to ask the people that, that say they, they are Orisha priests. What is Ashe? I'm not going to say it here. Um, to be able to give power and give out certain mysteries and certain initiations, uh, certain ceremonies out to the other people. Statues is not make you an Orisha priest. Over here, for instance, is La Virgen de la Candelaria. In the Orisha tradition, through the Lukumis, La Candelaria will be Oya. But just because I bought the statue of Oya means that I'm a priest of Oya? No. This is the actual secrets of Oya over here. I will not. Sh I can't show you what's in it because then anybody could just make believe and do the same thing and say, hey, I'm a priest of this or whatever anyway. Um, and on top of that, it's taboo for me to show the secrets to somebody that's not a non-initiate. Non over here, you see Shango. You see over here, Lady de Kum. Um, over here, Ogun. Look carefully. These are not statues. Well, this is. This is what you call Aboramba. I'll get back to that. Um, over here, you see Elegua. You see Agayu. That's the power of the volcano, Agayu. Over there, over here, you see what Ochosi really is, where his power is, Ache, his spirit lives in. It's not a statue. Over here, you see Yemaya Sesu. Over here, you see Ibu Aquaru. Over here, you see Oshun Ibu Kole. Not a statue. Which who I have crowned, which she very jealously protects her children. Her children being crowned. I'm the child of a moon. You got up there? Obatala. Obatala o sangria. You have over here. Obatala obamoro. Over there, you have Obatala burumu. Over here you got the batas, which is the actual instruments that we use to call them down. Each orisha has an instrument to be called down. Over here you got aganaeri. Aganaeri. Okay. Which, from my branch in the orisha tradition, um, is la pimienta, which originates... Um, 
pues Femenita uh, Gobe and so forth. Later on, I'm going to get more deeper into that because I'm just going to confuse you. I don't want to confuse you. Again, to become an Orisha priest, you have to be crowned Ocha. And then you go getting your ranking from there up. It takes a lot of sacrifice. takes a lot of money. Uh, money in the, in, the, in the ways of, um, look at this, over here. Where would you find a skull of, of a lion? Where would you find, you know, this costs money. This alone, this alone costs more than most people's monthly rent. This alone costs more than a person's monthly rent. We do not use statues and, it, and, and that's the actual Orisha, no. The, the slaves had to um, hide the secrets and put them away. And then when they go to the church, the Catholic church, when they pray, they will um, hide the Orishas by a Catholic saint. I hope I'm not losing. In my case, I'm going to begin with saying, what's my ranking? I'm in Obauriate, which is the highest rank you can go within the Orisha part. You understand? Um, a Babarao in Lukumi cannot crown an Orisha. Oriate can. A Babarocha can. The main function of initiation in the Orisha ceremony, who does it, is the Oriate. To become Oriate, you have to learn all the Odums in the shells. You have to learn your herbs. As you see over here, we got Osain. Can you put, can you put over here? Osain. To receive the complete mysteries of Osain, you have to learn the herbs, which this maybe 40% of the priests nowadays that does know the actual herbs due to the fact that it's it's all these traditions being born uh they get initiated should i say in concrete jungle in other words in the cities or whatever and they're not in the caribbean to learn what it is okay i'm for one that knows all my herbs i will get back into that in a few you have to receive what's called igba osha which is this right here special ceremony and you have to receive Obakoloba. No, Obakoloba is the guardian of Chango's secret that sits in the throne of Alafi. And over here, Osain over here too. Ochu in Bokole, you see we have Guido up there. So, this is just a little intro introduction into the documentary I'm going to do of how to become a real Orisha priest and follow and really genuine, authentically phrase the Orishas and for they can help you. I'm going to do things, I'm going to show some things that for the non-initiates to do and we're going to have more advanced stuff for the people that are initiated and they got parents left them. That's another thing. You come into a house, um, there's rules. There's rules. And if you don't follow certain rules, of course, and you dis disrespect the house, we will bring it to your attention, and if you keep doing it, you will be kicked out the house. So don't get initiated in this house if you're going to be a very dis uh, disrespectful person and not be honest and genuinely love the Orishas and what you're doing, have that passion. You understand? When it comes to the Orisha, I get very anal when it comes to that. The Orishas gave me everything. I, I can't complain. Well, anyway, talk to you soon. Alafia. Okay, continuation to the Orisha um, documentary doing, talking about how you begin into the Orisha and what's the correct way to the, tradi to the real Orisha tradition, you know? Like actually having the secrets of the Orishas, which I showed you before. Um, in part one, you'll see that inside the batea and all that stuff, you will, excuse me, you would um, have the secrets which I cannot show. Only initiates could show what's there.
Let me hope to see what's there. As you see here, this is a Aboran too, and this is another statue, Aboran, which is uh, represents Elegua. This over here is Oshe Chango. It's the one. When you call it down Chango and you praise it and you dance at Chango to bring him down when you go to war, this is what you have. This is what, what you have here. And there's another one that has the monkey head, which um, I'll talk about some other time. I don't want to give out too many secrets because I don't want people to start copying it and then claiming to be priests. Um, there was a question in Facebook which they had asked me that what do I mean have a tune in your head? I know it sounds crazy. How the hell you got a tune in your head? The main ceremony that Oriate puts in your head is the Ache. It's a special ingredient that puts the essence of the Ocha, the Orisha, um, into your head because here is where the Orisha lives. The head represents um, your guardian angel, your lady. Um, in my case, it's Oshun and my dad is Ogun. What else? That's basically it for now. I mean, I know there's a lot of people, there's people, we're going through some gossipy thing here, I don't know what it's about, and people are saying false statements and stuff like that. Um, anybody that wants proof of what I am and who I am, wants to know my roots and everything, my credentials, I can show it from square one all the way through. I have no problem. I usually don't do that because I don't know people in my business, but now it's getting personal to a point that I'm being called something that I'm not by someone that, I, that don't have nothing. So, you know, live at peace. Let's, let's leave things alone. And so whoever, somebody is going in between, and you know, when you have a lot of enemies, as some enemies will take advantage of any war you get into to try to mess you over even more. You just have to be smarter to figure out who's doing what. And know your limits and know when to stop. Um, like I said, I don't have to do witchcraft to nobody. Oshun is the one that'll stand up for me. And you have to go through all these Orishas before you could get to me and do anything to me. And that's not and that's not even all my Orishas. I got it in the other the rest of them in the other house. And more stuff that secrets that people can't know, only initiates can know. So Ache. Um anything that's being said about me that they said, please do me a favor. Write me, get in contact with me, and I'll prove I'll prove to you whatever um, the case may be. Um, let's put things behind us and keep going ahead. And I was losing track of why I came into YouTube in the first place. And it was to teach people that they didn't know Spanish and teach them in English what Orisha tradition really is. Because there was from the beginning, there's been scamming all over the place. And many different sites, many different people. I mean, it's, it's all part of life, man. Uh, there's good people, there's bad people. Um, there's misunderstandings. There's a whole bunch of things. You know, um, but anyway, keep going ahead, keep your head up. Y para adelante. Ogunda Masa, remember that everybody got their function in this life. Um, and in the union is where the power is at. Um, Ache, and Salam Aleikum, Maleku Sala. I'll be making more videos. This one I did a short because I got stuff to do. I'm really busy today. Um, and that's it. Love ya, be safe. Bye. Alafia, Salam Aleikum, Maleku Sala. Um, today, I'm going to do even a shorter one, then to, later on tonight I get into a deeper, a deeper video of explaining the steps in the Orishas and stuff like that. Um, today, I want to talk a little bit about the Elekes. The Elekes are the, are the beads, the beads that they wear. For instance, See the beads, the leques. Right here you have Chango, Ochun, Yemaya, Eleguano, Batala. These beads that the people wear that's um, prepared by an Olorisha, alright? A Babalao don't prepare the leques um, in Lucumino. It's the Oriate, the, the Oba, or the Igoro, the Yalocha, the Babalocha and so forth like that there's three steps that you have to do on the beads 
Okay, not we're not talking about the doll. This is for the veggies. The another secret that I got the twins. Um, each one of these beads are washed in certain umero, certain herbs. It's is fed and there's something else that's done on top of which I'm not gonna say the whole complete thing. So not only there's three steps in preparing them, you have to undergo a ceremony um, on your body to be able to receive the leches and it's two crown priests that has to be there to do that ceremony to you. And that the the ba or the oriate or the babalocha y alocha y water could do. Oh, that's another thing. Says um, somebody don't know. Keep saying they don't know what a tata oriate is. First of all, that's just a nickname for the for the site where we have or whatever the ile has tata because we are priests of, of Palo and oriate because I'm an oriate. Common sense. It, it don't take much brains to put that together, okay? And if somebody's got father, they didn't know how to tell the difference with that. I don't know what to tell you. And the Cuban part, um, I am from a Cuban house. I was grew up since I was a little kid. My um, elder, maybe if they straight from Cuba, they know Felix Ogundache. Okay. Uh, my godfather Odu Odu Aremu. My godmother Ochawe. Um, and so forth. Anyway, we're not here to talk about who's my elders and who where that come from the tradition, whatever. Which is going to be in part of this documentary. People are just getting mad because. Um, I'm speaking the truth about Orishas, and I've done put things in the back already. And you know what? I'm not even gonna. I don't care anymore. Say what you want, do what you want. I'm not even getting into it. I want to keep this positive and keep it going. That's why the Orisha priest is um, Oriate to um, any or real Orisha priest is supposed to be a role model into the community. But we human too. So if you attack us, that's why Ogun, even Orisha, Ogun is to help. But look. Ogun has his machete to help to go to war spiritually because Ogun is the owner of all metal. I don't have to do witchcraft to somebody. This is another thing. When you have Ocha done, I, I don't have to do all witchcraft to nobody. Just just sending them sending negative things, whoever sends negative things to my house. Look over there. Ochuni Bukole. The witches are the witches. She don't even believe in Ifa. She don't believe in, in the Barbados. When she gets pissed off, there's nobody that's stopping her. That's one of the most dangerous orishas you want to piss off. So if things go wrong when you attack somebody, don't blame the person for you doing things that you're not supposed to do. Well, the ceremony of the Lekes, back to more important things, the, the ceremony of the Lekes is the first initiation to the Lukumi. The first initiation, before you can even go into Ocha, even if you have Mano Rula or whatever, in Lukumi, you first have to undergo through the leques. So you need all the orisha, oriate, babalocha, yalocha to get crowned in Lukumi, not a babalam. Um, <clears throat> this will be the first initiation you get. And then after you get this, then you can receive your elegua, not eshu, elegua, and then you receive the warriors, which is ogun and so forth. That's the main foundation, well, that olokun and the veggies, that will be the main foundation before you go into the Orisha tradition, you become crowned. Like you see right there is the veggies. These are secrets of the veggies. They, they're the first ones. Ellos la bandera de, de, de Santero. They're the first ones to go out of war and protect us. So even though you're thinking, oh, twins, little twins. Mm -mm. They defeated something that was like the devil by playing the drums and tricking it. The veggies, the maguas. Beautiful. Moferifumo furibali los veggies. So, basically, oh, yesterday we were talking about the statues. Now, somebody brought it up to me to explain what are these statues here, for we won't confuse the people. If you notice here, this one I got it from Cuba. Um, this one over here, as you see, um, is hand carved by a special palo. All right? It can be just regular palo. This, this alone costs a lot because they, they make it by hand. And it's not just a statue, it's prepared. They got all the stuff in it to give it the ache and make this come to life. With this alone, do you know the damage and the good you could do? But with this, you have to always do... If they mess you over once, okay, they mess you over twice, forget about it. Now the third time, that's when this gives me permission to attack and do what I gotta do. This is Osain. With Osain, <laughs> 
trust me, it will bring down anybody. The reason the Babalaos needed to got Osain, this is going way back, the old school people will know this, it's because the Mayomberos, the Ganguleros, were winning um, the Babalaos, and they were wondering how they dance or whatever, whatever, and that's when um, they had to get Osain and put him into Ifa to be able to um, defend them against us, because Osain is really from La Tierra Mandinga, El Congo, Osain El Congo. What does, what does it make me a robot? What makes me an oriate? Because I hear that they say, oh, it's not an oriate. What makes me an oriate? First of all, um, nowadays, most oriates don't even have this ceremony done. Um, but the main thing oriate has to have is the full secret of Osain. The full secret, which is the Ikokoako, the Aboran, and the Aweru. That's, that's very important because the Oba is the main head of all the ceremonies in Ocha. So they have to deal with the herbs, and to have permission to deal with the herbs, you have to have Osain. As you see him on top of my head over here too. Um, also, you under, um, that's one way. That's the original way. Then they, um, they came up with the Irete Kutan, where you receive the Igba Osha, which is right here. I don't know if you can see it here. This is the Igba Osha. Okay. In there is some stuff that I can't say that's in there, but that's when um, they sway your hands and it's a separate ceremony to get you in that ranking, which I really don't don't believe in because I'm more into the old school part and I got it because I got it. And you have to receive Ubakuloba, which is this over here. This is what gives you, is what, is what protects the secret of Shango. Um, to become Oriate, you should have this because esto te da la sabiduría, okay? And to be a true king in the religion, you should have Obakuloba. It always um, stays with um, Chango. Alright. What else? Oh, they made a question. And you see, that's a statue, but inside that statue is, uh, again, that's a hand carved statue from um, Palo Hakuma. And it has all the ingredients and our chests inside of it that gives it life. It's not one of those plastic statues. You understand? So guys, even in the Orishas, there was always, um, they had their little problems like Chango with Ogun, my father Ogun. Um, they went into war. Ogun won that war. Um, I love all of them. All my Orishas, I love them. Um, Oh yeah, the other question was, uh, well, I'll leave that one for the next the next video. Achei, salam aleikum, aleikum sala. Salam aleikum, aleikum sala, and alafia. I know in the last segment I was teaching about how to get initiated uh, correctly through the Orisha tradition. So we left off at the ceremonies of Eleke, which I'm going to continue on. But I'm going to take a short break for this because I catch ulcers when I hear things. And it really... <laughs> I'm very passionate with what I do, so, so it irks me when people say certain things without knowing what they're saying. So I want to give people a chance to learn this, like that they could defend themselves better uh, when they talk. What we have over here is the Okele, the Opele, the Elekule. This is Ifa. Over here you have the Delogun of Orisha. These systems, these two systems here, well, including the Obi and the, and the Ikin, which you hardly don't see it over, um, over here. The Ikin, you hardly don't see them doing the real with the Ikin. And the Obi is the four coconuts. These two over here are, are the ways that Anoriate uses this to talk directly with the Orisha. The Babalao uses this to talk directly with Orumila. Um, this is Ifa and this is Ocha. Um, this over here, you see, it's the, it's the tablero and it's the um, reading tools that we use in Palo Mayombe. As you notice, these are two completely different religions here. Okay, so if you get a reading in Palo, like here you see bones, you see shells, sandies. Um, you get reading in Palo, you're going to have a guardian angel in Palo. So it could be, it's like saying... Watariamba or Siete Rayos, your guardian angel here in Palo. 
But if you go into Ifa or being bred with the Orisha shells, your your guardian angel could become Chango or Yemaya. The thing that you messing up on is as two different religions, two different traditions. In Palo, you have your own spiritual guide, your own Impungo, and in the Orisha, everybody has their own um, their own Orisha. And it's different. Palo Mayombe, the Impungos are Saravanda and Sasi, um, como se dice, Kalunga, Centella and Doki, so forth. In the Orishas, it's the Orishas. Uh, Changoye Mayao, Chumu Batala, so forth. So if you get a reading with me here and I tell you, well, over here is Watari Abes, your guardian angel, in Palo Mayombe, and your, your path is open in Palo Mayombe. Okay, well, you go to this place and you fall to the shells and they say you're, you're Yemaya or Chango or whatever. It's two completely different systems. It don't matter. Oh, you always going to have your guardian angel in Palo and your guardian angel in Ocha. So you really got to learn what you're saying. Um, this I'm not saying directly to nobody. I just think I've seen this a lot happening online. Um, me, personally, I don't use this because I'm not a Babalao. I'm in Oriate, so what I use is the shells, the Delugun of the Orishas. Over here is where you get red with the Orishas. And then in Palo Mayombe, I use the, the bones with the, with the sandy, the shells, and so forth to get the reading and to bring down your guardian angel. And I also have here the Mpaka Mensu, which I look into this mirror and it'll show me everything that's going on and, and so forth. And I also use this over here, Awado. You see it over here? You can see the Awado? Can you see it good? Yes, yeah, Awado. Okay, Awado is a system we use to read with Osain, to get out um, the signal with Osain. Uh, we also use cards, but these are the main strongest ones that we use. You know, these are the more traditional ones. But the thing is, this is Palo Mayombe. This and this is Ocha. So, of course, if you get your guardian angel brought down here, it's going to be an Ampungo. And when you come here, you're going to have your Orisha. Like, for instance, when I got initiated into Palo Mayombe, I'm the child of Tiembla Tierra. But now I'm in Ocha, I got crowned Ochum. Two different systems. The dead gave birth to the Ocha. You should always start through the dead. Iculo bi Ocha. You should start from the dead and work your way up into the, into the Ocha. Now there's some people that can't go into Palo. Because they don't have um, their spiritual guides or nothing like that. And there's some people that cannot receive Ocha. And they'll give you what's called um, uh, Santo Lavaos and, and stuff like that. So, guys, get it right. You have to get it right. It's a big difference. Now, this is just a short clip on the, on the um, divination tools that we all use. So, Ifa, this is Orisha, this is Palo Mayombe, this is Osain. And we also use the cards, but uh, I'm, I'm too advanced, and I, what I, this is what I do. This is what I do. If I want to talk to the dead, I use this. If I want to talk to the Orishas and, 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 talk, and whatever console, console with the Orishas, it will be with the Delogun, or I use the Obi, the four coconut shells. They will use the, the Opele or the Ikin. The Ikin, they will use it more um, in traditional Ifa. So this is Orisha. And this is Palo. So if I bring your guardian into here saying Watariamba, Madre Agua, Siete Rayo, and then you go to a person that reads your notes and says you Chango or you Yemaya or Chum, of course it's going to be different. It's two different sections. This is in the spirit world and this is in the Orisha world. I hope with this you learn something and like that in the future when people speak they won't sound, um, you know, like a fool or whatnot. You know, but it's not that they are fools, just to have lack of understanding of what is the traditions and how it's really work. And I'm trying my best to do this in English, like that people can understand and get more clear. Um, later, I'll continue with the next step initiations into the Ocha. And I'm also going to do a small documentary on Palo Mayombe, how to get started in it and how the steps go, of course, without saying all the um, secrets. Ache hope as well. Salam alaikum, alaikum sala, alafia. I know in the last part of the teaching that I'm showing the people that don't know much about the Ocha, um, in a simple way, the steps to become an real Orisha priest and the official steps to be initiated, or even if it's half asentado, half initiated, or fully initiated. Um, right now, 
I'm just going to take a break from it if I could go talk about um, the way we do our readings, um, divination and stuff like that because I catch ulcers when I see people saying, oh well I got read in this thing but this one said I'm another, another um, Orisha or whatever the case may be. Okay, first of all to start off from the beginning, readings from Palo Mayombe has nothing to do with the Orisha. Nothing at all. So if your guardian angel is Watariamba here, if you're coming to this kind of divination, of course Ifa is not going to tell you Watariamba is your guardian angel because it's a whole complete different religion. So guys, you have to really, before you get into getting readings, you have to really know what is it you want to get read with and what tradition. For instance, in, in the Orisha or Ifa, to read with the Orishas, we will use this, the Delogun. That's where Obado Oriate comes in, the Italero, that has to know how to do his um, his Odun's and all that stuff. So here we'll be talking with the Orishas, or a Babala will use this, what's called the Oke, the Opere, okay? El Ecule. That they throw like that and they go, that's when the signal come out. That's when we throw the shells, we talk it directly with the Orisha. In this case, we'll be using Elegua shells, and Elegua will come out talking, telling you whatever the case may be. So in these two, we could get the same answers. You understand? But here, it's a whole different tradition. It's Paloma Yombe. It has nothing to do with the Orisha. So, of course, it's over here. It tells you, uh, you're the child of Yemaya or Chango. Or this tells you the child of Yemaya or Chango. If you get a, a Palo reading, it cannot be an Orisha you bringing down. You're bringing down the Empungo. Because Paloma Yombe has nothing to do with the Orishas. You understand? This is the deal with the dead. Iculo Biocha, Muerto Pario de Santo, the dead. Uh, gave birth to the Orishas. So that's why in Lukumi we always go to the dead first and then we move on into the Orishas. So just in case you hear somebody saying, well, Tata said, this is Siete Rayo, is my, uh, Siete Rayo Watariamba is my guardian angel. Yes, in Palo Mayombe, in the, in the tradition of the dead, Palo Mayombe with the Pungos, is not with the... Uh, with the shells of the Orisha or with the Obele, which will be with the Orishas that we'll know we're talking with the Orishas. You see, two different completely things. Um, this will be the Delogun, which the Oriates uses, the Italero, like me. And in Palo Mayombe, we got different tools. We got the Empaca Vititi Mensu. That's the magic horn that's specially prepared. We look into and it'll show us our enemies and what they're up to, uh, what's happening to a person or whatever. As you see over here, we use bone, snakehead shells, I guess how you call these things, these, um, they look like clams, and then sandies, okay? And also, there's uh, the Venetian tool over here, where you see here is the aguado that us, uh, we'll use it to talk with both sign. So in my case, I read with the Orishas, yes, but I don't use this. This is Ifa. I don't use this. This and this, you take out the same odors, basically. So I don't use this. Put this to the side, with much respect. This is what I read with. The Dalogun of the Orishas, of Elegua. Each Orisha has their own set of Dalogun's, but when we're doing readings, we'll do readings um, directly with Elegua's, um, Elegua's um, Dalogun, their curry shells, the Dalogun. Now, when it's Palo Mayombe, I use this. These are the tools I'm using when I'm reading. So that's why you always, before you get read, we always tell you what you want, Orisha or Palo reading. Everybody has a guardian in Palo, and everybody has a guardian in Orisha. The guardian in, in Palo Mayombe, of course, it's not going to be the same that's going to come out here in the Orisha here, or in the Orisha here. So that's very important. Before you become, trying to become a priest or going into the religion or, or anything of that sort, Learn what path is it you want to know. In my case, I got initiated to all of these. Okay, because like in Lukumi, we always start with the dead and we go into the Santo, which I love it to death and I won't trade it for the world. Uh, my brother in Ifa was going to make Ifa for me for free. And I said, no, I don't want to become a Babalao. Because once I become a Babalao, I give up my right to be able to initiate people in Palo, work Palo, and all that sorts of things. And you can't be getting possessed and doing so many, all these other stuff if you receive Ifa. Um, in Ifa, the woman won't get too far in Lukumi. The most you could get is the Kofa Urula, uh, Mano Urula, Opaka, 
and maybe you know it cleanses and stuff like that now with the orisha derogu and dealing with oriate or iworo or Yalocha, whatever, yes, you could get initiated, you could receive many more things, and you could become a priest. And follow the same, you could go more into it and become a priest. You understand? Um, you, in other words, you could become to do your own thing. Your own thing. Over here, the only two other um, systems that's not here right now is Obi, which is the, the coconuts. That looks like this, but with the coconut meat, which is four of them we use. And the Ginks, that Ifai uses. That's some um, seeds. That's right. I have somewhere right here. I don't know where it's at. So, guys, please know the difference. Remember, the guardian angel of Palo Mayombe, you have, everybody has a guardian angel in Palo Mayombe, and everybody has a guardian angel in the Orisha tradition. It's like saying Catholicism and Muslim. You know, it's two completely different things. And let me let you know, a lot of Babalaos are against Palo Mayombe. Because one, they don't want you to do Palo Mayombe because they can't do nothing in it. Two, um, Ifa and Palo have war for many, many, many years. Okay, so that's why you see I'm an Orisha priest, Oriate, and um, I use this to do the the, the readings. Um, I hopefully I didn't confuse you. And so this right here, the three, the one, two, three, four, the five systems that I use is the Delugu, the Shamalongo. Empaka Vititi Mensu, the Agua Doe Bosai, and the uh, Obi. That's what I use. Those are the five systems, uh, that's the five systems that I use. And Ifa, they use only two, which is the Lekule and the Iking, which really in traditional um, Ifa is where they use more the Iki to do the readings. Because um, that's just the way it is. In Lukumi, they use the Open. Um, that's it. It's just a, sh a short clip of divination and uh, the way we do readings and what's the difference. So remember, they say, oh, you wrong, Tata, because you said, and I went to Babalao, it says, Of course, smartass. There's two different, completely traditions. Even if you go to Oriate and you go to a Palero, get a reading, they can say, you got one Santo, and then the Oriate brings his Santo, um, one in Pungo. And then when the Oriate is reading, it's going to come out another or, uh, Orisha. It's not going to be the same. This is in Pungo, Palo Mayombe, in Pungo. Ocha, Ifa, Orisha. Two completely different um, systems. Okay? Salam Alekum, Ayakusara, and Alafia. Again, I'm not throwing this directly to nobody. I just want to, I really want to clear out all the misunderstandings of how the traditions really work. Through me, you're going to learn the right way, and I'm going to explain the simplest I can. And then, for people that already know their stuff, I'm, I'm going to be doing very advanced classes too. Okay? Salam Aleikum, Alafi, any questions? Keep the questions coming in. Ache. Yeah.